Shalom Akim. First off, we're going to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kapadash, that one plus millstone inside his leg. And right now, Akim, I want to get a lesson into, man, is I'm basically counting the cost, what it truly means to count the cost in this thing, bro. We all think you understand, bro, when we mean counting the cost. Hey, it's very serious, bro. When you come to this truth, it's not basically fun of the game. You're going to, hey, you're going to lose a lot, man. You are. Not only entertainers, I mean, right now, right now, I mean, next year, next month. But it will happen, bro. Be able to give my own first experience, bro. Hey, I didn't even know the whole cost. I'll be honest, bro. I didn't know the whole cost at first, man. I understand now what it is. And hey, that's part of the truth. You see, understand like, what you truly, what you truly got yourself into. <laughs> this isn't a boys club. This isn't where you just come in, come out, come in for a couple of years or a couple months. What the fuck, bro? If they are not feeling no more, go straight back to the world and do whatever you want, basically, man. The same like Christianity, the same like Muslim, like being Muslim, bro. There are consequences for leading the truth. Now, nobody's gonna do anything to you, but that's up to that's you. That's with you and Most High, and Most High willing shows mercy upon you. But hey, that's between you and the Lord personally. So first, let me get real quick. Is Luke fourteen? I'ma start. At verse 26, when any man come to me, and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life, even your own life, he cannot be my disciple. <laughs> now am I saying to always constantly hate your life, bro? Nah, man. If you could enjoy, bro, hey, enjoy the best of your ability, man. Honestly, this, hey, hell sucks, bro. I know it sucks. But don't be always fucking always down. Always guy him down, bro. That negative emotion is going to fuck you, man. Honestly, like yeah, but like yeah, I mean, do, I, do I enjoy my day? Yeah, I, mean, I enjoy my day. But at the end of the day, do I realize this shit sucks, bro? That this shit ain't really worth shit? Yeah. Balance the same, bro. Verse twenty seven. First second. Verse twenty seven. They read, and whoso does not bear his cross and come after me, he cannot be in my disciple. So you can't bear your burden, man. In this truth, you can't be a disciple. You have a shine. To which of you attempt to build a tower, instead of not down, instead of not down first and count the cost whether you have sufficient to finish it? So which of you, bro, attempt to you know, build a tower, basically build a house, man, and understand, am I able to be able to finish what I started, bro? I'm sorry, able to, are you able to understand that you gotta finish the truth, man? You gotta finish the race. At the end of the day, bro, you can't stop midway. And be bygone, be bygone, bro. It's an investment. If it's an investment, man, hey, you're gonna lose a lot of things. And if you leave half if you leave the truth, man, basically, bro, you can't all the shit that you went through, man, void. Nothing is worth nothing. It'll just be just because. <laughs> now, hey, that sucks, bro. That's happily. After he had laid the foundation. And is not able to finish it. All that all began. I said all that began to, all that behold to begin, to mock him. So then it's said now you have this fucking unfinished tower, barely any any bricks on it, halfway done, and that's it. You got one floor, and that's it. Like come on, bro. Like everyone laughed at you because like listen, bro. Like what? Like why the fuck you started building in the first place? I understand this, and that's part of what's coming the truth too. Building this tower, being a strong tower is the most high, man. Are you able to finish this race completely? Or do you have enough stamina, enough endurance, enough mental fortitude to be able to finish this race completely and entirely? Completely, bro. If no, then hey, man, turn back, man. Turn back. I'm not trying to say to get on, brothers. I'm not saying, like, oh, man, you can't finish. Like, I'm not trying to be mean and shit. But understand that hey, this truth is very is a very serious thing, bro. The very serious thing, and if you don't honestly understand what yourself you're getting into, man. And now you apply for things, bro. You know, say your woman left you, your kids left you, this your you, your fucking job fires you, you're homeless. What the fuck it is, bro? I don't know, but Lord is gonna test you to the best of your ability to see. Are you truly about this truth? No matter what, to day in, day out, no matter all hell is breaking loose, when you're, everything's going against you, 
But when everything is going right for you, are you going to still stand firm for the truth? Right? If you're going against you, are you going to create the most high? Are you everything going for you? Are you for the most high? No. You make sure are you, you're still always constantly praising and worshiping the Lord. <laughs> Saying this man began to build and was not able to finish. You're at the beginning. You're trying to build, build up, build in this thing, bro. And you weren't able to finish, man. And I understand, bro. I understand this. It can happen to anybody. If you lose in this thing, bro, hey, that sucks, bro. And it can happen to anybody. <laughs> like, hey, if once you, I want you to start going out there, man. Like, hey, you could, but hey, you be cast out of the camp, right? And you still pushing the word, hey, good for you, brother. But if, dude, if you, if you, if you stop, stop doing the word entirely. Hey, man, you stop, you stop, bro. You stop, you stop the word. You don't want, and you can't really say anything because at the end of the day, every man, every man out there is out there for own obligation, bro. Out there for own obligation. No one's forcing you to go to camp. If you don't want to go, man, you don't want to go. That's honest truth. If you don't want to go to the camp, man, you don't want to go. In order to force you to be there, man. But hey, don't. <laughs> there's consequence. There's consequence for reactions. <laughs> Understand that. Verse thirty-one. It reads, or what king go if it go to make war against another king and sit not down first and consult it for the consult whether he be able with ten thousand to meet him that come against him with twenty thousand. This is a twice is the 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 battle we fight is twice as big as us. Most of ourselves, most importantly, bro. We fight in ourselves and this world, man. The people of this world, the ways of this world, the wickedness of this the wickedness and ideology of this place. <laughs> You're fighting battles on two fronts. <laughs> Are you able to finish this race, man? Let me get that real quick. Leads. Okay. Leads honestly, but it is a race. Oh, shucky. I'm tired. But the truth is a race, man. It isn't something just to basic. Oh, you know, it ain't, it ain't worth shit. Basically, no. no. This is truth. Is a race. It's an endurance test. Completely. <laughs> it's First Corinthians nine verse twenty four and it reads, "Know ye not that which run in the race run for all, run all, but one receive the prize." So understand one we're gonna receive the prize. Not everybody's gonna. Not everybody's gonna get this, bro. And everyone's not everyone's gonna be the elect. Understand not everyone's gonna be elect, man. That's scary, bro. It's only a cer there's only a certain amount of spots, bro. 144,000 from each, only 12,000 from each tribe. <laughs> I understand that, man. It, it, it's like not everyone's gonna win. So run, so run, right? That ye may obtain, so you may obtain salvation. Me obtain that whatever you've gone through, that it was worth it, man. Make this, tr make the pain and hell and suffering that you made that you've gone through true worth it. Don't stop now because honestly, you you fucked yourself over, man. <laughs> and every man has tried for the mastery and it's temper in all things. Now they do it to attain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. Now they do it for vain glory, they do it for this, that, and the other fucking NFL and shit, right? What the fuck, bro? Be the fucking grand chess masters and shit. <laughs> but we're trying to do it for the incorruptible crown to draw eternal salvation, eternal glory, eternal beautiful rest that when I go to sleep they say like, I, I, I don't know where fuck con I don't have to wear contacts no more I don't, I don't have to fucking wake up in the morning fucking put my eye and shit nah man I don't do that shit no more I ain't gonna worry about that man I ain't gonna worry about fucking being pain going to work going to clean up like oh fuck I gotta work work today nah man that's all gone now so we're gonna that we're gonna that in purple crown so I say it's like a risk point six I therefore so run not as uncertainty. Because when going to shoot, we're not uncertain what we're doing. We're not like if, what's, and then, man. This is the only way, and that's it. So if I, I, not as one that be of the air. This is a sandbox, man. This is a truly an honest, hard fight against, and more importantly, against yourself. The biggest op you have in this troop is yourself, man. Because honest, bro. 
the flesh be trying to do some wicked ass shit, but you know your spirit, you shouldn't, man. I say, example, like say, dieting, but I ain't gonna work on it too. And wishing strong, bro. You're listening to your body or listen to the soul. But that's why I get hockey. Dying of all praise is going to you. How old Bahashim, Yawashai, Bahashim, Kakadash. That's why I can tell them.